Hi, I'm Jane Westman. I've helped hundreds of authors and publishers market their books. Today, I'm talking with my good friend, Sarah Kelly. She's an expert on social media. And we're gonna talk a little bit about what authors need to do to promote their books on social media and how they can connect directly with their readers. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Jane. Good to talk to you. Let's begin with a simple question. When authors are creating their social media pages, should they name the page after themselves or their book? When an author is setting up a, a social media page, uh, for example, Facebook, should it be the name of the book or should it be the author's page? It should be the author's page because that way the Facebook page can be personal um, and the author can connect to the readers. Now I'm not saying create a personal page. I'm saying create a business page on Facebook, but, but name it after the, the author. I think that that's really essential. Does it matter what authors post on social media or what they talk about in interviews? Can they talk about anything? The more you go off topic, the more you move away from your message points, um, the, the fewer books you're going to sell or the fewer readers you're going to get to read your book. Is there ever a time when it's okay to discuss topics not connected with your book? Actually, there's a kind of a progression. I think as you're building your connection with your readers and as you're building your, your reputation or your brand and your following, you have to be very disciplined to stick to your message points. Um, I think that as, as you become more and more well-known, people may want to know your opinions about other, other things. But, but here's what I'm really talking about, is if you're an expert, and for, uh, for example, if you're an expert on artificial intelligence, and you've written a book on the topic, the, the book is thick, it's in-depth, and is practically an encyclopedia of everything a business leader needs to know about AI. When you do your interviews or, or, or when you do your marketing, you need to figure out what are the key messages that people want to hear that will connect them back to the book. So what are the ideas in the book that seem most relevant to your readers? And you need to stick to those ideas and try to keep coming back to them in your conversations, your rating, uh, your, your blogs, your interviews, because these are the ideas that people want to learn more about. So they want to, therefore, they will want to read your book. So instead of talking about everything that's in your book, everything about artificial intelligence, try to stick to your message points. This takes practice, it takes discipline, and it takes consistency. Excellent. That makes a lot of sense, Jane. Well, thanks for having me on your podcast, video, YouTube. <laughs> Good uh, seeing you. Bye, Sarah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.